Hey everybody, uh, good to see you again. I don't remember how long ago it was, but it's probably been at least a month or so I did a frozen pizza review. Uh, so I'm going to do another one. We might do this maybe once a month, just a little little filler for a, for a Sunday morning, afternoon, whenever you watch these videos. So local grocery stores have been getting in a lot of like oddball products that generally aren't in our region. COVID, supply chain stuff, it's going to happen. So lately, we have uh, from Brew Pub Pizza, uh, it's called Lots of Matza, a Wisconsin uh, brand, I guess. And the interesting thing here is that this, uh, as you can maybe see on that pie, it's ridiculous, over a half a pound, half a pound of Wisconsin cheese on a 12-inch pizza. That's, it, 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 that's insane. Um, <laughs> This also has uh, sausage and pepperoni as well. So we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna see how it, uh, how it tastes. There's so much cheese on here. They want me to put it directly on the rack, but I'm like, yeah, but I can put it on a pan and maybe be a little safer. I might set a pan underneath of it uh, and let it cook on the rack, but this thing is gonna slop cheese everywhere. It's gonna be nuts. So I'll be right back. Let me cook this off and then we'll take a taste. All right, we're back. Um, let's see if we can... <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah, it, it looks pretty good. Um, didn't really have any spillover, which is good for the oven. I will say it's interesting because some of the cheese around the ring didn't melt. It just kind of like browned in its original form. <laughs> so that was kind of kind of weird. Processed cheese products, man. <laughs> uh, let's see. Crust feels pretty crispy down there. It is a uh, very thin crust, but it's a th it's a thin crust, but uh, it's thick. So much cheese. Looks like a good slice, but um, proof is in the taste. Again, sausage, pepperonis, half a pound of Wisconsin cheese, burn my face off. Um, a lot of pepperoni under there. All the toppings are just under this massive amount of cheese. Very hot, greasy, pretty greasy. There's just gonna be like a pool on my plate, you can't see it, it's fine. But I can just feel it on my lips. Got some chapstick, you know. Fold over like New York. <laughs> Um, crust isn't bad. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's kind of didn't really see the underbake, but it's not. Um, doesn't really have like a you know great color to it, but it's fine. Um, huh. Pepperonis are pretty good. The sauce is kind of uh, average. It's not super tangy. Burnt my lips too. Whew. Um, but it's just it's just kind of there. It's it, it it is pretty saucy too. I'll, I'll give it that. Man, um, it's just very greasy pizza. Sausage isn't bad. Kind of an average sausage, but it's not bad. Mmm. Yeah, I mean, mmm. It's just frozen pizza. You know what I mean? It's not it's not crazy amazing or anything like that. But the 
crust does crisp up. Sauce isn't bad, nothing to write home about. A lot of cheese. But mozzarella is um, is a my, like one of the mildest tasting cheeses you can get. So it's not gonna have like any great taste. And uh, I personally think it's a mistake to put toppings under the cheese. I know there are people that are, you know, no, nah, that's not correct, but I'm a sauce, cheese, toppings kind of person. Uh, there, but there, there, there's a decent amount of pepperoni in there. Not a ton of sausage, but you get throughout it. But yeah, I mean, it's not bad. I think I would have preferred to just have like a cheese, just a straight cheese pizza or cheese and pepperoni, uh, but they didn't have that. They only had this one. Hmm. It's good. It just uh, it doesn't really stand out a ton. You know, one of the one of the pizzas that uh, is readily available around my area is uh, Jack's, which I believe is also from Wisconsin. And it kind of tastes a lot like that. Maybe a little bit, a little bit more, well, I think it's just the pepperoni is giving a little bit more of the spice, but it's actually pretty similar. It does have a good crunch. I mean, it's better than a, a bleh, I can't even say it, a DiGiorno. I'm not a big DiGiorno guy. All right. Pizza rating on a frozen pizza scale. I'm thinking like a 6.5. It, it's fine. You know, it's, it's fine pizza. It's a little bit different than the normal stuff that's on our shelves here. Um, but it, it's decent pizza. It's just not like, it's not going to blow your doors off or anything like that. I wouldn't travel to the state of Wisconsin just to get this pizza, but it's good. There's a lot of cheese on it. The sausage is decent. It's not overpowering. Um, the pepperoni is fine. You know, it's, it's good pepperonis. It's greasy. The sauce is, you know, it's sauce, but nothing crazy. But it's a decent pizza. I mean, I'd eat that. I am eating it, and I will continue eating it after I stop talking. So anyway, you got 6.5 on that. So, uh, yeah, tell me what you think about the pizza reviews. Obviously, like, again, I'm thinking like once a month maybe. Throw them up on Sundays just for lazy Sunday afternoon video. Hopefully you guys enjoy them. And, uh, you know, if, if you do, I'll keep doing them. If, um, if you don't, then I just won't. Then I'll just stop doing them eventually. But, uh, yeah, again, hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we will catch you on the next one. See ya.